Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days because we got a juicy Firefly Funhouse episode. I did record a reaction to it, but actually there's so much more for us to talk about. Um, I wanted to do this uh, kind of uh, slightly different reaction video. Um, basically, what happened was Bray said that he had learnt a few things whilst he'd been away. One of them being how to resurrect the dead. Now, I was worried at this point because I'm not a big fan of silly spookiness, supernatural weirdness in wrestling. Um, but uh, I really like what they did here because Braun made his way down to the ring and then Bray revealed what he meant. He has brought back the Eater of Worlds character. He has brought back that original Bray Wyatt character. The cult leader Bray. The leader of the Wyatt family. And uh, he was saying that uh, he helped bring Braun in. And now it's time to end Braun Strowman. It's time to take him out. So I really did like this and I liked how they explained it. I think this is very interesting because it does allow now for three faces of Bray because you've got Fernaus Bray, you've got The Fiend and then you've got the original Bray, cult leader Bray, who seems to be back now. So uh, there's three faces of Bray Wyatt now, which is very intriguing. What was also intriguing was the fact that they showed a clip that had Rowan, very visible Rowan and Braun. Now we know that Rowan was let go uh, not that long ago, but we also know that WWE has been reaching out to talent, trying to re-sign uh, some of those uh, recently released talents, uh, maybe under better terms for WWE, like, you know, maybe a little bit less money or something. Um, but uh, it could be that Rowan has signed and it could be that Rowan is coming back. It did seem a little strange that we saw Rowan. There was no sign of Harper. Uh, and of course, there's no way Harper's coming back because he's under contract, seemingly quite happy with AE. So I think there's a good chance that Rowan could be a part of this. There's been a few people talking about John Cena, but I wouldn't expect him right now. Uh, I think if we're going to see Cena again, it'll probably be SummerSlam, maybe Survivor Series, maybe Rumble or WrestleMania. I'm not sure that he's going to be a part of this uh, Extreme Rules match, if you will. So uh, it was great. We saw the old lantern. And of course, Bray said that he's learnt to resurrect the dead. That's because on one of the first episodes of the Funhouse, he said that part of me is dead now. Um, and actually took a chainsaw to a standee uh, of what he used to look like. I think he called himself his old version of himself a slob um, and was really down on that, that part of him. Um, well he's resurrected it. Now I I think there's a good chance he's going to lose again. I think there's a good chance that Braun is going to overcome this version of Bray. And then Bray is going to be left with no option but to turn to the Fiend. And I think the Fiend has got potential to beat Braun. I just think this is a way to really stretch out this feud. Because I'm sure if it's Braun against the Fiend, Fiend surely wins that. Fiend surely wins that. Um, so we're, we're going to have to wait and see. But uh, very, very interesting stuff. Um, we got Follow the Buzzards back. We got uh, the Run at the end as well. I'd be expecting a return of the original entrance music. This is going to be exactly what we had before. And honestly, when we see him at Extreme Rules, which is where I'm guessing this is building towards, I think he comes out with Rowan. And uh, just to drop a little tease in as well, what if there is someone else, someone that takes Harper's position 
in the group. Because obviously we can't have Harper now. So what if it is Bo or someone, right? Bo Dallas, uh, who um, seems to be out on his own now. I believe Curtis Axel is gone. So there is no B team. Um, Bo Dallas is still there. So what if it's Bo and Rowan and Bray and, oh, it's good. It's tasty. The three faces of Wyatt. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.